Testing, testing, one, two, un, dos, tres, cuatro, chico, seis. Hi, guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse. Today, super hot video, as we're going to be talking about the development of Oculus with their future headsets. Apparently, they have come out with a name, so we will... Maybe is it going to be called the Oculus Quest 3? Who knows? We don't really know. And also a potential date of release. But first, guys, just wanted to let you know that if you want to watch really fun, easy, very short kind of behind the scene videos that is very wacky and just have a good giggle with, then do head to TikTok. We have created an account there. Go to the link in the description below and go and follow us at VR Essentials on TikTok there. And also, we have come out with a brand new channel called VR Shorts, where we basically post all our short videos, not anything long or anything like that. Again, very fun stuff there. And it's on YouTube. And we also post other content creators in the VR space as well that we feel is interesting. And we always put a link back to their channel or their content on social media so you can go and follow them as well. So it's a good marketing tool to promote VR content creators in general, not just VR essentials as well. All right, guys, let's head over to this article because this is really amazing stuff, guys. I'm very surprised that Bloomberg wrote about this, to be very honest with you, because this is still speculation. So the title of the Bloomberg's article is Meta Plans to Call New Virtual Reality Headset The Quest Pro. Now, you would think that because it's written by Bloomberg and Bloomberg have an amazing reputation in the world of journalism for writing stuff that is not generally speaking, based on speculation or hype, but it's specifically based on something true. And they talk to the relevant sources from the relevant companies. Let's go through this article because I'm very, very surprised about, let's just go through it together. So this was written today on July 7th, 2022, uh, only a few hours ago, about eight hours ago, Meta Platforms Inc. up and coming high end headset. Let me just make it bigger so you guys can read. For virtual and augmented reality, uh, will be called to make it the Meta Quest Pro, apparently, according to code findings inside the company's iPhones, iPhone app for setting up headsets. So I'm very confused. Finally, inside the company's iPhone app, iPhone, what's going on there? Like this to me is already, huh? What iPhone app? Okay, so they went into the iPhone app. So this is the phone app, like the app, not the actual code of the headset, but the app. So, okay, that's, that's very funny, first of all. And also, this is based on the code inside the app. It's not based on Zuckerberg or a product development uh, at Meta or Facebook Reality Labs talking about it. This is based on code, guys. This is Bloomberg telling us that the next headset is going to be called that based on code in the app. All right, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think already uh, based on this. Very interesting. Uh, let's continue reading. So Meta has been touting its new device since last year using the code name Project Cambria. The company is likely to introduce to uh, the official name later this year, along with details about the headset's availability. It will cost more than 1,000 US. Guys, this is the other thing. We don't actually know for sure um, whether it's going to cost more than 1,000 US. It could be less. Who has confirmed the price? Leave a comment below. Let me know if there's any links to other sources, you know, that confirm the price of the headset to be 1,000 US, I mean, more than 1,000 US dollars. Who has confirmed this? Boss hasn't. No one has. No one has confirmed. So again, I'm very surprised that Bloomberg are writing something that is based on speculation. According to a person with knowledge of the matter who asked not to be identified because the details aren't yet public. Based on someone who has knowledge on the matter, it doesn't say based on someone who works as Meta. <laughs> this could be anyone, guys. <laughs> Come on. This could be absolutely anybody. I mean, I'm, I'm just really laughing here. Uh, the device is a major pr priority for Meta, which has recently scaled back other hardware projects, such as a smartwatch, and will be a prime competitor to Apple's Inc. up-and-coming mixed reality headset when it goes on sale next year. Now, this is something else, guys. Apple hasn't confirmed anything. <laughs> They're just speculating everything. This like 
teasing us, telling us, yes, apparently it might come out next year, but guys, we honestly don't know. It could be 2024. No one knows. There's nothing for sure going on there. So again, Bloomberg, are you guys high? Like seriously, I got to ask you this question because in the US, it's legal to be high, like be high on smoking stuff. It's not legal in Singapore. Oh my God, in Singapore, if you get caught with that, you're done for. Um, but I'm just saying, are you high, Bloomberg? I, I don't know. I'm questioning your sense of journalism here. Uh, the new Meta headset will have far better graphics processing and power compared with a re regular Meta Quest headset. Again, I have to ask myself the question. Duh, <laughs> of course it will be. <laughs> of course it will be. If it's not better than the current Oculus Quest, then why... Okay, never mind. Let's let's move forward. Uh, it will also include external high-resolution cameras to simulate AR in color, eye tracking, more storage, new controllers, and high-resolution display for virtual reality. Now, there was a rumor recently to say that there won't be any controllers for the next Quest. <laughs> go to MRTV's Twitter. It's there. In fact, let me just go there now. Uh, let me go to Twitter. Let me go to uh, MRTV. Uh, MRTV News. Let me go to his Twitter. He, did he change? Oh, this is MTV. Uh, MRTV. Let me just go there. MRTV. For some reason, it. Um, uh, oh my God, we're not going to. Here we go. Here's the tweet. Again, it's hyper speculation, guys. Let me just make sure I, I turned over. Yes, I did. Um, oh my God, we are not getting controllers with the Cambria. Another blow for gamers looking for a high end replacement. Sadly, in reality.com. Now, I left a message myself, to be honest with you. I said, to be honest, I'm not sure that fellow, I'm not, to be honest, I'm sure that fellow is a very cool fellow, but sometimes he didn't get it right or the info he shares isn't fully vetted, i.e. the Discord message from Decker last time, etc. Lots of hype plus speculation. Let's just see what comes of it. And they left, I left an open question, no replies at this moment in time. Uh, but basically, yeah, this apparently according to some rumors and speculation again there would not be any controllers with the next cambria so who's got it right here because bloomberg who are a very very credible reputation say also include external high resolution cameras to simulate ar in color eye tracking more storage and new controllers to the meta quest pro apparently so I don't know, again, I'm asking myself a lot of questions here. A Meta spokeswoman declined to comment, guys. A Meta spokeswoman declined to comment. No confirmation, no confirmation. Meta typically announces new headset and related features in October. So guys, this is potentially, again, highly speculative that in October we will have another new headset by Meta. And guys, there is another manufacturer, I cannot name who it is, but they are synonymous in the industry, very, very famous, very famous, very famous. They are gonna be announcing potentially a new headset around the same time, guys, and it will be a wireless standalone headset too. So guys, we're gonna have some, ooh, some serious Christmas shopping to do, guys. Serious Christmas shopping to do. Absolutely amazing if, if Meta aren't gonna announce anything in October. Believe me, these other guys potentially are gonna swift them under the, under the rug because this is gonna be really amazing. Uh, the code string indicating the name of the product, which was found by developer Steve Moser and shared with Bloomberg News, references the pairing of the device to a controller. Now guys, now guys, I'm very confused. The code reads, pair Meta Quest Pro right controller. I'm very confused because at the beginning of the, of the actual article, they said that, and I quote, and I quote, they did say, according to a person with knowledge of the matter who asked not to be identified, who asked not to be identified, but guys, they just identified the guy. <laughs> they just identified the guy who, didn't they just identify the guy here? Didn't they just do that? Sorry, I, I might, maybe I'm confusing, I'm not quite sure, but it seems like they actually identified the guy there. So 
All right, the code string indicating by developer Steve Moser. Sorry, Steve Moser. Apparently, they didn't want to reveal who you were, but they did. If indeed it's the same person, I'm not quite sure. Um, Meta dominates the virtual reality market, but future rivals like Apple are expected to create more competition. Apple plans to launch its headset with an operating operating system called Reality OS in the coming months. Apple's device will likely blah 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 blah. Well, guys. And of course, there's ByteDance in the mix as well with Pico, who have their own uh, virtual reality headset, which is also currently competing with the Meta Quest 2. Oculus Quest 2 is currently competing, guys. Uh, Apple is still speculation. We're not sure when they're coming out. But at the end of the day, we have the Meta Quest 2, guys, competing with the ByteDance, uh, the Pico Neo 3 Link, which is this one there, guys. This little beauty there is the one that's competing with the Oculus Meta Quest 2. All right, guys, so there you have it. Let's go to our channel and uh, just say hi to some of the people who left some comments on the channel because you guys are so freaking, freaking uh. awesome. And let me go to the uh, your channel and then let's go to the VR Essentials. Here we go. Lee, when you're doing... Let's go to videos. And I left some, uh, let me see if there's any comments on this. 1.3K, no, no comments on the, sh on the shorts, just views, okay. I'm trying to get out of it, there we go. Um, so guys, I, let me go to the media. So basically, I, invite, I invited the members of the media to come to uh, VR Essentials and basically to try our VR fitness classes that I was actually marketing when I had a startup back in 2020. Uh, you know, marketing VR classes to corporate companies and stuff, and it was really awesome. And a member of the press came here to actually try it, uh, or to the place where I used to have the studio, sorry, um, to try the actual VR fitness class that was marketing to corporate companies and individuals. So guys, you go, go, and uh, you have to go and watch that video, it's really awesome. Uh, let's just read some of the comments that you guys left because there's really a lot of love there. Uh, let me just make it a bit bigger so you guys can read your comments. There we go. Uh, Jeremy Dyer says, Beat Saber in general messed up my shoulder more than I wanted. Worst of all um, is the facial interface on the headset not being very breathable. Thank you very much, Jeremy Dyer, for your comment. Really appreciate it. Dave Hotzman says, if he collapsed, uh, you didn't include that in the video. Yeah, sorry, I didn't include that, but the thumbnail shows that he collapsed. And also, you can go and view the actual video uh, where he actually collapses, which is on the VR Essentials channel. Uh, just type VR Fitness in the channel and you'll find it there. Brad says, LOL, they overworked, uh, they overworked them. Uh, was he hydrated? <laughs> yeah, of course he was hydrated. Um, Farouk Beck says, they are using Supernatural VR and Beat Saber. Too bad Supernatural VR is not full PC. Yes, that's very true. Really great to try it out. And uh, Paradise Decay says, great fun footage. Thank you very much, Paradise Decay. Very much appreciate your comment there and for coming to the channel. You also equally, guys, if you want to see some cool VR footage, do go and check out his channel. Very nice guy there. All right, guys, I will see you in another video very soon. Also, do go and check out our TikToks, as I just mentioned uh, very recently, or VR Shorts on YouTube, where we post our short content there. And guys, we are going to reveal the winner to the HP Reverb G2 and also the Cyber Shoes. And and also the uh, voucher worth 50 US dollars to the MetaQuest uh, store, Viveport store, Pico Link store, and also Steam VR store, uh, where you can purchase some cool VR games there. All right, guys, I'll talk to you very soon. Announcement of the winner coming very soon. Bye for now. Take it easy. Bloomberg, I mean, come on, you're serious. Why is so much speculation? I, I don't understand. I mean, I don't know. I don't get it.